please like the video, hit the goddamn subscribe button. I bought this hat at the dollar store and it's tight as shit. This goddamn hat gonna give me a concussion. Back with another video, it's a Godfather's Christmas. And this one is a classic from Mr. Samuels. Uh, the title is, Modern Woman Explains Why Smiling is Offensive. The agreement is that, you know, black women are vulgar and we come, off, we come across as like, not wanting to have any unity with the black man. We don't want to submit or give a black man any authority in our lives. And we're, you know, fighting and challenging the black man constantly. And I don't think that that's necessarily, you know, what the what the what the real issue is when, when we come across as being vulgar. I, in my personal opinion, I've had people tell me that I come across as unapproachable just simply by the way hold that on, I hold look. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who are you basing this off of? What the women think or what the men say? What men say? Uh, then if you based it off what the men say, you would be in agreement. The men I say exactly that. what I just said. No, ma'am. The men are unequivocal. The men are saying. This is what you're doing. And what you're basically trying to say is, well, it's a misunderstanding. I agree, yes. No, it's not a misunderstanding. Please explain how it's a misunderstanding when you say, I'm going to whoop your ass as a woman to a man. What's the misunderstanding? I feel like, not necessarily verbally saying that, but I feel like a lot of men just feel that if a woman looks a certain way or I've had me smile beautiful and I, I feel offended when a man tells me to smile because like sometimes hold I might on, be offended or something. Hold on, man. Man, you, okay, okay. I'll have the conversation with you, but you're going to answer my, when a woman says something, you've heard a woman say something like that. I'm going to whoop your ass. Yes. Okay, what does it mean when she says that? She's not really saying, she doesn't mean that? She means it probably. Okay, then what's the misunderstanding? There, at that point, there is no misunderstanding. I'm just defending my own perspective when I've been told that I'm unapproachable because I come off that way. When sometimes it's just me just having a, a stale face. And I think that no, maybe sometimes on. it's not that okay, way. You can make this whole conversation about you? Yes. We can't do that because you can justify everything you do. I can't. Yeah, but guess what? It ain't about just you. But let's take the point you made, since though that's how y'all want to do, make it all about you. If somebody told you to smile, and you said you were what, offended? Yeah. Why? Uh, why? Why? Because it's like, why is it such a, a demand for for women to, well, especially for black women to just always look a certain way. Like, why can't we just naturally be whatever we feel? How is that a demand though? You got, so, so I want to be, I want to get this clear. Someone just says, hey, smile and it's offensive to you? I mean, for the most part, it just comes across as like demanding. And I'm not saying demanding. that Demanding. Feel... How is that demanding? Yes. Huh. Like what if I don't feel like smiling? What if I'm in deep thought? What if I'm what if I'm listening to something that's this is where this is where, this is where we're at. This is where we're at. This is where we're at. We have civilized the world and done such a good job in first world countries to where women, in this case black women, are offended just to be asked to smile. <laughs> it's offensive. It doesn't come off as a question of asking or requesting. It's almost a demand. Smile, beautiful. <laughs> like, can I just relax? Can you relax? And what's your what's your relaxed face look like? Rest and bitch face. Facts. Not necessarily, but sometimes it's just it's just. Relaxed. How about if this? How about this? How about if no one said a damn thing to you? What if every man just left you the fuck alone? Excuse my friends. What if every man just left you alone? What if nobody. What if no black man said anything to you? Just ignored you. She'd be ready to commit goddamn suicide. Women love attention like they love air, man. Let that actually happen. If she was at a point where no man gave her any attention whatsoever, you ready to slit her wrist. Would that be better? I don't, no, I'd be really sad, honestly. There you go. Oh, so you want us to engage you the way you want to be engaged, but you don't want to engage us the way we like to be engaged. Makes a whole lot of sense. So men don't want you to, men want you to, did he slap me? Yes, I slapped you. You want another one? <laughs> because I only black women are Sorry to stop the video again, but you notice that's what made her smile. Him slapping her metaphorically. <laughs> the only group of women I've ever heard to get offended that's what when got someone a smile on says her face. That's smile. The sad part. You know, I heard a black woman who's a femininity influencer who was talking to black women who said they want to be more feminine, who said they want to be get husbands. And this black woman on her Facebook page just went and asked her black clients, her, her black followers, hey, 
Just smile at every black man you see today. And they tore that woman apart for months. Think about how low of a bar you're talking about. That man didn't ask you to go have sex with him, do any sexual favor, give him some money. He just said, smile, and you find it offensive? Huh. Wow. Kevin, I smile when I feel like sounds. smiling. I smile when I That's feel like I'm in a That's why I said that men should just I'm leave you alone. Mood. Then men should well, just I have leave. a man, and I smile I, at him regularly. But that's not the point. We're not talking about your man. That gonna hurt. I said that black men were just to avoid you and leave you alone because they can't predict whether or not you're going to, what they're going to ask you, which is not an offensive thing. No. Asking you to smile is not nothing to be offended by. So what you're telling black men is because you're going to ask me something that's inoffensive, but I can take offense. Black women, I got to let you know, you guys are the masters at being offended by the inoffensive. Mm. So black men, leave women like her alone. When you see her, don't say shit to her. Let her and her man rock out. The rest of y'all, leave her alone. Don't say nothing to her, don't say hi, don't say bye. Just let her be. Because you don't want to offend her. You don't want to offend her. You don't want to offend her, you don't want to get in her space. Let her be. There she is. Does that work for you? I mean, you're not wrong, Kevin. If you was wrong, I would tell you that you're wrong. You're not, you're not always wrong. You're wrong about something, but you're not wrong about that. And maybe, I guess, you know, if, if black women did smile more, we wouldn't come across as unapproachable. But like I was saying, there are women who just are relaxing and they're not in the mood to smile. They're not in the mood to, you know, engage in, you know, random men's eye contact and be, I mean, it just, it just doesn't feel necessary. She acts as if smiling is such a strenuous endeavor. Working a couple muscles on your face. <laughs> Jesus. Just randomly smile at every man that you see. Doesn't it come off as promiscuous? This is the this is the, this is the this is reflective of the utter lack of respect that many black women have for the overall black male image. Good point. Again, I don't hear any other race of women being offended at the notion of being smiling or being friendly to their men. Granted, but I never hear white. I never hear black men tell white women that because they don't I never, have to. They smile because they smile. Well, I suggest why? they don't have to. Did she really they not don't understand that? Have to that? tell other racist women because they're naturally. They do the shit. They smile. You can't make this shit up, man. Okay. I mean, I'm all, I'm struggling to stay on the path because this makes sense to you. I mean, yes. So, so avoid women like this. And, and if black women don't want anybody to tell you to smile, and you don't want to have to engage somebody in a cordial, friendly, polite way, then by all means, you shouldn't have to. And no one should have to be subjected to possibly, no one should have to be subjected to possibly offending you. So it would be better for them to err on the side of just don't deal with you. Great point. Again, we're talking about somebody just saying, hey, hey, smile. Not, hey, have to do a sexual act or give me some money, smile. And then you turn around and say, well, I don't hear them saying it to other races of women. Learn something. <laughs> Take Those other races, I learn it from that though. Oh, how to get how to get a husband and keep one. So if I'm just like, okay, and so just hear me out. If I'm just having a normal walk through the park and I'm minding my own business, a man's, you know, having a normal walk in the park as well. And he randomly says to me, smile i should just smile at him well ma'am uh apparently it's happened enough in your life to where this is becoming an issue i know right because it can't it be just a, a one off. oh no no hold on hold on she just said it happens a lot hold on. it can't just be a one-off situation it's enough to where you actually decided to call into a broadcast and make it an issue so exactly. the fact of the matter is you walk around with a resting bitch face facts if, if people continue to do this to you then maybe you need to take under consideration maybe this may be the way I'm approaching men. The, my image I'm carrying in the world to black men is this way. Angry? So what you're, so what you're saying is black men who aren't related to you or, or you don't have any, any investment in you can make no demands of you. I just don't 
just feel like a man that I don't know, a man that I've never exactly. seen before. So, so exactly. So, that. so black women so, yes, like I agree. so so black so sin. So so what you need to understand. So a man who does not know you, if he sees you getting fucked up, needs to keep on walking. Keep it moving. See, this is why y'all want this why group protection. No, no, no. Listen up. very well. Listen very well. This is when y'all talk about you want this group protection. You want a black man to step in. You okay, sis? And this all that kind of stuff. A black man can't even ask you to smile at him for risk of offending you. So, conversely, if there's something happening to you, you need to call your man. And the men you deem necessary enough to do something for. Because just us regular black men who have no investment in, or you have no investment in, we can make no demands of it. See, that's the beautiful thing about other races of people. Other races of women of other races, men who they're not fucking can make demands of them. And the men that they're fucking can make demands of them. In the, in the black community, the only people who can ask you something is man who's making is doing something for you. Mm -hmm. Other than that, we can't ask you for nothing. That's why I say we can't ask you for nothing. We don't owe you nothing. Is so that let hard? me get this straight. Like, I, I'm, I'm just a little confused. Why would I want to give something? I mean, and, and I know it's very small, it's simple. It's just smile, right? But to me, it comes off as like entertaining. Like I'm just out here being friendly faced with everybody. Like I'm not saying that I should I shouldn't be polite. I'm not disrespectful. And I know that just being my my normal everyday face is I guess unapproachable. But to think that that's such a laborious ask to smile. And that's fine. But you're saying to me that no, stop right here. I should I should stop be right here. Stop right. Stop right here. Stop right here, ma'am. The only common denominator in all these situations is who? Me. Go. This is why I say y'all need therapy. Because this honestly sounds crazy. It, We're talking it doesn't about sound crazy. It no, it doesn't crazy. sound crazy to you because you're the craziest. I'll say, yeah. Crazy people never think they're crazy. I volunteer we're talk, for this. We're talking, so. about, we're talking about She's a weird, though. smile. She's off on this smiling thing, but I could tell from her conversation, she's self-aware enough. She just said, I signed up for this, so I can't talk shit that be giving it to me. But the it, but the level of irrational, see, this goes deep for black women. When that black woman asked her femininity group to, to smile at black women, she was surprised at how vicious they treated her. And I'm gonna let this play and let people come back and hear, we're talking about just a simple smile, people. That's it. Smile. But you act like a smile is busting it wide open. Oh my freaking God. Yeah. Black men, do you realize this is a black woman who tell you you're not even worth a smile? Damn. And that she feels. I mean, not every last one of them. And yes, if I feel and, like and, it. And, and, okay, ma'am, and I take that. So, I'll if you are getting. That abused, jacked up, whatever. I don't think she realized what she said. What does the random black man owe you? Nothing. Stop slapping me. Who the fuck you think you're talking to? <laughs> Told you. That's Your what man made her sound smile. like he need to slap you. Why are you pr promoting violence? No. Why? What do you think this is? I mean, what? see, when I ask you, is what does a random black man owe you if you need something from him? You driving down the sh your tires flat. You don't know how to change it. Black man driving down the street. Does he owe you to stop over? You ain't his woman. What does he owe you? Nothing. Right. And if un understand something, it is what it if was. Men are looking at our women, and see the thing is, what you're saying is not un un uncommon. So. Honestly, black men look at women who talk like you and feel no, zero allegiance to you. Feel like they owe you nothing because you want black men to protect and provide and everything else. And you are talking about a freaking smile. So that your is suggestion how, is that I smile more oh to my, random people no, in order no, to create no, no, my sort of allegiance? Is, my my suggestion is psychotherapy because <laughs> this is crazy. Psychotherapy, Kevin. Man, you that. said it. You don't see black men asking other groups of women. Do you hear any other race of women talking about this? If he slapped, <laughs> she'd agree with him. 
it just doesn't happen to them as much as it happens to because us. they mm-hmm. effing smile what what is she not getting about that what if they're not like where are the where are the all right, all right, all right, all right, where is the right, research all right, all right, all right. Get the <laughs> yes What if they're not? Get this bitch out here. <laughs> Theo Coop, I've never been one of those guys who just walk around like just talking to women, hey, smile, and just all up in every single woman's face. Just That's never been my style, man. And I've looked at dudes who've done that and think, that, yeah, you're weird. The guys is always in women's faces. Oh, hey, beautiful, how you doing? Mwah, mwah, mwah. Not really my bag. I don't think I've ever told a woman in my life to smile before. I had a woman ask me to smile a couple months ago. I don't know how much of a frown I had on my face before, but she was an elderly woman and told me I needed to smile. I put a smile on my face. You know what? I instantly felt a little bit better. So even though I wouldn't go around asking a woman to smile, I don't think there's anything wrong with it personally. For her to feel that it was demanding says a bit about her and my thoughts are aligned with Mr. Samuels as far as your ass need to be in therapy. <laughs> if you think that that's a demanding request, they're not asking for a kidney. It's just a smile. You guys, let me know what you think. Ask the party in the comments. My name's Theodore Cooper, but you call me bitch. You better. Bruh, take this tight ass hat off. <laughs>